What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be talking about what I think is the most underrated weapon so far in Chapter 3 Season 3 and that is going to be the Hammer AR. I think a lot of people are sleeping on this weapon because they're using it wrong. If you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and comment down below what you think of the Hammer AR and if you've tried it out in this way. And the way that I'm going to be talking about in this video that I think makes the Hammer AR really good and really viable is as a submachine gun in the zero build mode. So you're going to replace your combat SMG with the hammer AR in zero builds uh, like explicitly not so much in the build mode because the lower fire rate of the hammer AR makes it not nearly as good at spraying through walls but if the combat smg continues to get nerfed i think we could see the hammer AR being the ideal close range spray weapon in both game modes but this video is going to focus mainly on zero build so let's get into it the main thing the hammer AR has going for it is an insanely fast time to kill it melts people extremely fast. I, whenever I just die outright to a spray weapon and I have no idea what's killing me, it's a hammer AR. Like I'll have this clip playing on screen here where I beam somebody out of a car and then go to push him. And then before I even realize I've taken damage, I've taken a hundred damage from somebody third partying me in the back with the hammer assault rifle. It is ridiculous. It just isn't that ridiculous as an assault rifle because the AUG exists. And obviously the AUG is going to be better at like long range combat because it doesn't have bloom and it has the first person optic. The hammer AR is still nasty up to like 40, 50 meters or so. And carrying both in zero build is really nice because not only do you get the hammer AR for the close range sprays, but also in those fights like 30, 40 meters away and maybe in a situation where the opponent is that far away and they're pushing you. The AUG can be kind of awkward to use in those situations, but the hammer AR just melts. Like anything close to medium range up to like I would say 50 meters or so, the hammer AR is ridiculous. It kills extremely fast and it actually has like basically no recoil at this point in time. At the start of the season, it did have a decent amount of recoil. Not the most. I thought it was pretty controllable, but it did have some. But with the most recent update that occurred last week where they rebalanced some of the weapons, you remember when they buffed the two-shot shotgun, they nerfed the combat SMG a little bit, they nerfed the AUG a little bit. They also buffed the hammer AR by reducing its overall recoil. So now it has basically no recoil at all. And it has very little to no hip fire recoil as well, which is really nice because if you're comparing it to the combat SMG, the combat SMG does have a decent amount of recoil. I still think it's very controllable. But if you're someone who's been struggling with that, the hammer AR might be a nice choice for you. This weapon also has really low bloom as it is. Like, it has a really tight reticle and basically no recoil at this point. It hits really hard. It has a decent fire rate. This is one of the better weapons in the game right now, and nobody is using it for whatever reason. When it comes to close range combat, replacing an SMG, I think it, it gets the job done in zero build. For builds, it's not as good at spraying walls and pressuring walls, so I, I don't think it'll really just outright replace the combat SMG in build mode, like I already said. But for zero build... You will melt people extremely fast before they even realize what's going on. Um, I, I cannot stress enough how fast this weapon kills if you hit your shots. And that is one thing that is going to set the combat AR or the combat SMG and the hammer AR apart is that the hammer AR has a much lower fire rate. So your aim has to be really good. If you miss a few shots with the combat SMG, it doesn't really increase your time to kill that much because it has a really high fire rate it's really forgiving in that regard whereas the hammer ar does kill really fast but every shot you miss does increase your time to kill much more than it would for the combat smg because the hammer ar's fire rate is significantly slower so you have to be somebody who has really good hip fire aim for those close range fights if you aren't the best at tracking with hip fire this probably isn't going to be the gun for you but if you think your hip fire aim is really good and you can combo this with a pump and then pump somebody swap to this hip fire them down, swap back to your pump, the hammer AR is going to do really, really well for you. And you're going to kill most people extremely fast, I think. And if you are man if you manage to headshots at any point during that, the hammer AR has a very good headshot multiplier and like people will die, like I said. It's also a mythic version of the hammer AR. And if you get your hands on that, you will kill really, really, really fast. It's nice to have for those close range fights, but I feel like zero build also has those awkward areas, like I was saying before, where a fight isn't quite SMG range, like you're on the outskirts of combat SMG range, but you're a little too close to use the AUG. For fights like that, or if you have a team pushing you, the hammer AR is much better off than the AUG. Like, it's hard to describe, but I feel like if you've played the game a decent amount, we've all been in those situations where the AUG just feels like it's not quite good enough, or not quite good enough in those close range fights. Like a range that is like, outside of smg range but not quite yet like aug main ar range i feel like that is where the hammer ar excels and since it can actually compete with the smg 
in close range, it's not really like you're losing out on much. Like, I think that Hammer AR is just as good as the Combat SMG in close range if your aim is good, but you also have the added benefit of, like, more medium range fights, which is really nice when people try to shockwave away from you. Like, you're in a close range fight and someone shockwaves away. With the Combat SMG, it can be pretty hard to get that kill sometimes because it doesn't have that much range and it has the recoil to deal with, whereas the Hammer AR has very good range because it's an assault rifle that you're using as an SMG. So in any situation where someone tries to get away from you with like Shockwaves or Riftiga or whatever, I feel like the Hammer AR is a little bit better at dealing with that than the Combat SMG is. And it has like that extra range, like I was saying, to really like deal with people pushing you a little bit better. Um, and the gun's time to kill is ridiculous, like I've said many times. So many people are sleeping on this weapon because they look at it and they're like, well, this can't replace the AUG as a main AR, and it, it can't. If you were only going to use one assault rifle, the hammer AR would not be it. But you put your hammer AR in your SMG slot, and you basically use it as an SMG with extra range, and it fries, and there, like I said, there's going to be those fights where you found that the AUG was a little awkward to use, and the hammer AR just fills that void perfectly, and you're not really losing out on much, if anything, up close. And I also think it is important or valuable to adapt to this meta, because the combat SMG has been getting nerfed. They nerfed it just last week. And I think if people keep using it at the rate they're using it, they're going to nerf the combat SMG again. So by adjusting to the hammer AR now, you are ready for that meta if it comes down to it. You know, if the combat SMG gets nerfed even further, I feel like just the better and better the hammer AR gets by comparison. So adapting to this early on can benefit you. And one last thing I want to say is that it can be used as an assault rifle somewhat if you're really good at sniping. I, I think you could get away with running heavy snipe, hammer AR, pump, and then using the heavy or the hammer AR as your assault rifle and as your SMG. That way you would be able to run a sniper, shockwaves, and heals. I know a lot of people have been in situations where they like the heavy sniper, they really enjoy sniping, but they also really want shockwaves, and those things are kind of competing for the same spot. So you could end up running, like I said, Heavy snipe, hammer AR, pump, and then you just have to get used to swapping to the hammer AR after you shoot your pump or swapping like left if that's how you're going to set up your inventory. But the hammer AR is a lot more versatile than the AUG is, so it kind of it, it fits that mold a lot better if you were only going to be using pump and then an AR to, that does medium range and SMG range. Um, it just gets awkward to do that, like I said, unless you're a very good sniper because there are some fights where the AUG just hard destroys the Hammer AR, and the Hammer AR has pretty much no chance to win that fight. But if you're really good at heavy sniping, or just sniping in general, then you're basically going to be able to counter the AUG users at that range. You're going to have the advantage on them. You're going to get the easy potential, like, in 198 damage if you have a gold one. Might just end up killing them outright. But even if you don't kill them outright, you're going to get that huge chunk damage that can swing the tide of the fight in your favor. Maybe you end up shockwaving on them, whatever. If you are someone who wanted to use both shockwaves and the heavy sniper, I think the hammer AR replacing the AUG and the combat SMG is the best case that you're going to have to be able to do that. Or the bandage bazooka is in the game, or the chug cannon, sorry. If you're someone on, who likes to use that, but it's hard to like justify using it because it carries two slots, same thing goes. I think you could use chug cannon, shockwaves, pump, and hammer AR, and then you kind of have the hammer AR to fill the void of an assault rifle and an SMG at the same time. So... Yeah, I think the Hammer AR is a really good close range weapon and its versatility also kind of opens up some other options with your loadouts. Like I was saying, if you wanted to take more advantage of the heavy sniper while also having shockwaves, and then the same thing goes with the chug cannon. If you want to be able to use that and still have shockwaves, I feel like the Hammer AR is the best bet to replace your AUG and your SMG. If you guys found this video helpful and informative, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Comment down below what you think of the Hammer AR, and if you haven't really given it a fair chance or you've only been using it as a main AR trying to replace the AUG with it, Try the Hammer AR again as an SMG in zero build. It shreds, and if you are someone who wanted to take advantage of some of those more specialty items, I feel like the Hammer AR also can fill the void of two weapons, which gives you more inventory space. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.